National Socialist Workers Party. It could not translate it so quick. Um, the sentence, the question you can't get rid of is, what kind of freedom is bringing Mr. Hitler to us if we can congregate anymore? That's a quite a, let's say, mature sentence for a six-year-old. Have you ever thought of how this sentence as a six-year-old came specially to you? Well, I was a, 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 a member of this youth group for six years. And I was so happy in it. And all of a sudden, we are not allowed anymore. It, 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 I thought a, a hammer has hit me on, on the head. Uh, and that's so, that is where I form, or form from itself. I went through my head. What is the freedom Hitler, that Mr. Hitler brings us? Yeah, okay. At this stage, it was single for myself. But afterwards, I noticed, <laughs> I, I can give that uh, people who were completely opposed, all of a sudden were afraid. Family, work, and they joined the National Socialist Ar uh, Workers Party. Hmm? Only because they, had, they were afraid. And is, I mean, I, I thought as a little boy, you know, when I am afraid, that is, not, that is no freedom, that's no freedom. That grew in me. When I, yeah, well, that is something nobody will understand. Huh? When I was 14 years old and I uh, had a, a test to join the, the Fried Group Aktien Gesellschaft as a clerk, a, a, a cadet. I was a, 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 a accepted, but no, I could not go and work then. I had to go to a so-called Arbeitsamt and get a stamp from this man who was sitting there on, on in his chair. Now I come as a 14, as a, yes, 14 years old, 1940. In March, come to him, put my pipe on the bumper, and he looked at me and said, "Oh no, you are from Zegrod. It's no good for you to go and be a clerk. You can go and be an auto mechanic or something." But I, I'm sorry, I was completely. Zegrod was an underdog um, uh, suburb of of Essen. Well, he had to give me a stamp that I was allowed. Yeah. I mean, what is it? I had done my my test, yeah. and had, and Krupp, Krupp said, "Okay, we want you," and he said, "No." And in, in the end, there was it went through my head. Uh, uh, I said, "Could you do you know Mr. Vogt?" He said, "Yes." I said, "Could you ring in, please?" And Mr. Vogt was the Men in the in the in the group firm, if he in, in in charge of all the uh, uh, cadets uh, in office that was clerks and technical Rangers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for him. So now he said, "Okay, I will do you this." He rang Mr. Fuchs, and then he exploded. I but so I could hear every word Mr. Fuchs said. I found out from about 120 in in the in, in the test. I had in every field the top notes. Yeah? And Mr. Fuchs said, this man I want. Now, yeah. All of a sudden, this, from this man's face, the uh, uh, sweat was running down. And he only said, yes, Mr. Fuchs, yes, naturally, Mr. Fuchs, naturally, Mr. Fuchs. And when he put the phone down, he said to me, not a single word anymore. Just put a stamp on and signed it and gave it to me. Yeah. So, I mean, <laughs> that is something at that stage I could not understand. I had done a test, was accepted, and this gentleman he was in charge of 
arbeits on people's calls, uh, could say, no, you're not getting this job. What is that for freedom? And after I had done the test, uh, oh, and, 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 uh, my uncle, the eldest uh, brother from my mother, was also a clerk with group. But when he started, the nationalists were not on power, there was no question. He had done the test, he was accepted and started work. But now it was different. <laughs> As I said, I, I was not politically interested. It was just my personal thinking and why can't have I have to go through this process? Why? There is not a freedom. Again, 